Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back if you've been here on lately. So today's video is a shorter video than usual and it's a really really cute build that I've done. I mean for the past days I've been building quite a few builds and I can't wait to share it with you guys but for now today we have this fishing nook we can call it it's a small house in copperdale which is one of my favorite words and it's a house for a sim that it's uh, into fishing actually so i pictured this old person um living his good years of retirement in this small house away from away from i don't know from the city from all of the loud um population we could say i don't know it's just like away from everyone he has his own boat he can go fishing and he's just simply enjoying the view and yeah uh i pictured this sim to be actually living on its own maybe either his wife has passed away or uh, he's no longer together with her and he's just living on its own but also i have added um another bedroom in the house and the other bedroom is for his granddaughter we could say and uh, I pictured his granddaughter to come from time to time here and spend some time with her grandpa and they are just have they are just having a nice bond uh, they go fishing they spend time outside they play the llama game because I put that upstairs on the balcony area and I just had so much fun doing this house because I didn't restrict myself to just a few packs. I tried to use whatever I would like to use in this build, even though I felt a bit guilty because lately I'm so anxious about using a lot of packs because I'm thinking that some people wouldn't like it because I had um, maybe two persons telling me oh so many packs and stuff like that um i think on the sims resource and then i felt just a bit a bit like um, i don't know weird and then always i'm just in my mind constantly saying to myself i'm making myself look guilty and i'm like why am i using so many packs but then i was like you know what it's not a bad thing to use more packs from time to time especially when you want to do something creative and all of that because i don't know sometimes we need to use more than just one pack because yeah it's um when you want to create something specific you need to take a bit from a lot of packs just to make a whole picture and um yeah um i do have a lot of fun with this build as i said because I mostly focused on the high school years expansion pack items for the exterior, especially the debug items for the landscape. I just enjoyed the debug menu of this pack so, so much and I just can't have enough of it. And especially since they reworked the lining in this world. I remember when it came out last summer, it was so dark and the, the lining was so harsh and every, a lot of people were complaining about it, but they fixed it. And since I discovered they fixed it, which wasn't too long ago, I was so happy to build in this world. And I could say this is one of my favorite words, actually. Um, still uh, first place in my heart um, will be Brilliant and Bay no matter what, because when that word came out, I was so into it and I'm still into it, but yeah it was a brand new like fresh look over the scenes the the bay uh the boats the fishing the pets the just everything about that um were just so nice because you have the coastal vibes and also the more of the con con oh my god more of the country side vibes and it's just so amazing and i just love it and then this pack came out and i was like oh i really enjoy this pack and when I'm thinking more about it, I kind of really, really love um, Tartosa as well. It's one of my favorites because it's so beautiful and they are 
doing slowly but surely so much more nice stuff with the words also the werewolves word like moonwood wheel is a very very beautiful word and it has the weird lining in it but other than that i just love how it looks but yeah uh and if you hear my uh partner coughing in the background i'm really really sorry i hope that my mic doesn't pick that through the door but we'll see i'm sorry about that if you hear that so moving on from that um i'm still not very okay with this mic it always picks my clicking sounds like when i'm talking you know the lip stuff the saliva stuff and i hope it's gonna be better this time i'm looking into settings i tried doing something before like drinking more water chewing gum we'll see how it goes but other than that i'm just not very good with editing the voiceover so i don't even give it that much of a try to edit it so it's just something basic that i'm doing in there and i hope everything is fine and yeah so moving on from that as you can see i gave the sim a car because i wanted to make this build look more realistic and attached to the car there is the trailer to carry a boat which is base game from the debug menu i didn't know we had this i was watching one of simless's videos and i saw it from base game and i was like what i thought we only have it from a specific pack in the debug menu but it seems like we have it in base game as well so i took that trailer for the boat and then i took that boat from the debug menu from cats and dogs and put it on top those boxes are from cats and dogs so i can say i used a lot of high school years and cats and dogs for the exterior and yeah it just came out so perfect i don't know i just love this world so much because those vibes, the flowers, the plants, the bushes, the grass, the, the rocks, as you can see right now, I just found out at some point, I was like, oh, wait, we have rocks from the Z-Bug menu, why not using them? And then the trees and everything, I just love this build. I loved the swatches I went with, and it was a really, really nice build. And other than that, I just want to say thank you for being here, and if you would want... If you would like to support me, please keep in mind that the greatest support you can give me is subscribing to my channel because that means a lot to me and also liking the videos. The most important thing is liking my videos because that helps my videos uh, get recommended to other people as well in their uh, timelines and everything you know so that would mean a lot and it would help me a lot and thank you so much and moving on from that um i still have some stuff uh, i'm just like a bit a bit stressed because i did some builds and i want to put the videos out there before the new pack comes out growing together which is next week on the 16th and i'm really really looking forward to that i'm just so excited and i can't wait to build i'm not too much into the new world i watched the live stream of the sims and i saw how it looks and i'm just like a bit meh i'm not too much into it it just like people said, most of the people said that it looks like a, just an upgraded new crest maybe or a hybrid thingy between new crest and brilliant on bay but uh, to me it felt more like a combination be between new crest and actually city living so basically when they went in the city part of that world and i was looking in live mode like in gameplay around when they moved their camera it looked like they just copied uh, the city living bridge in there and it is just it felt a bit weird but Obviously, I will just get to see that for myself when I have the pack and when I can just go around more freely and all of that. But I really wish they would do a bit of more detail when it comes to the surroundings and a bit more interactive um, areas in the world. That would be amazing. And yeah, other than that, I'm happy for it and I can't wait for it to come out and to start building and yeah i'm just excited about that and also me and simur kai you might know her i will link her channel 
uh, right up uh, at the right corner so you can just click on that me and Simokai are trying to do a rework for the new world which means basically we're rebuilding the new world which means I'm doing half of the builds, she's doing half of the builds and then we compile them in a save file and you can just download the save file which will include only that word that's reworked basically. So you can just download that save file and you have that word in your game reworked with all of our builds in there so I'm pretty excited about that so I can't wait for the new pack to come out as I said before and I will try not to, I will try, I mean I'm not gonna put only growing together content out there like building uh, I will try also to put other stuff as well for people that might not be too interested in the new pack just to not do it fully only growing together and all of that you know and talking about this build actually I had a lot of fun with the interior because it's such a cozy interior and I didn't do one of those in so long and it felt so freaking good because I used to be so much into small cozy interiors full of clutter and all of that and I was so happy unfortunately I couldn't put a normal fireplace in this house I was a bit frustrated because it's so annoying that the only small fireplace that we have is this one from Eco Lifestyle the other ones are just too big especially in a small house I'm talking they are so big that you cannot fit them in the house and that's a bit annoying to me but i used this one i was just thinking maybe the sim in here just did a small upgrade and went to a more a bit of a modern but small fireplace and i gave him a small kitchen only so he can use the essential stuff and i used the country kitchen kit in here i just bought it some weeks ago I don't know at the beginning I was like no I'm not gonna buy it I'm not gonna buy kids because I don't want to buy kids and then when the blooming blossom whatever the name is with the plants the plants kit came out I was like oh I'm buying this I, I love plants guys and I was like this kit I'm buying it and still I wasn't too happy with it to be honest the plants are beautiful don't get me wrong but I feel like they are not that much of a variety i don't know how to explain this but i feel i feel like this game is definitely lacking plants <laughs> and <laughs> in my opinion and also obviously from everyone's perspective from each of everyone perspective there is always something that's lacking in the game and from my own it's plants i need more plants i love plants and when i pack comes out i always look forward to see the debug landscape items because i just i'm insane i just love landscaping my builds landscaping is my favorite part of building and yeah in here i'm also putting those fishes plaques plaques like i don't know how to call them fishing wood showcase things from the debug menu because i told you the sim is into fishing in my mind and i wanted to put all of those around and it's so cute i used also the everyday clutter kit in this build because i bought it because it was so cute and i was like why not to use it even though i felt so guilty while using it i was like i'm using so many packs and yeah but for, for your notice I have some builds that are coming up and they are pack restricted by the way and there is a build that only uses base game and one pack and there is another build that only uses three game packs and base game so I can't wait for those to be out to be honest with you and I'm so happy and also I have posted the cottage that I did with CC that was part of the collaboration of the sims restores and it didn't have that much reach actually i think it was because i posted it on um, monday but i don't know to be honest maybe people don't like much of custom content but in in my opinion i feel like doing a bit of custom content from now on a bit from time to time will be a really really nice um fresh air i would say for myself i will get to be a bit more 
into other stuff you know like i hope you don't mind that and obviously i'm gonna go with max match cc because i don't like alpha at all so i'm just gonna go with a bit of builds with custom content uh from here and now you know now and there and also i have to get back to my save file because it's lacking builds i need to get back into that and other than that um i hope your day has been going good and let me know let me know down in the comments if you want me to build a specific build if you have any sp special requests um what do you think about this build what are your thoughts about the cc builds and whatever you want any suggestions feedback anything is always welcome in the comments and i don't mind it and i really really hope you enjoyed this video because it was such a beautiful build and i loved it so so much and with all being said i might end it here it was a nice voiceover and it's kind of late for me i'm a bit tired and yeah thank you so much for everything and as always if you want to support me please consider liking this video it helps me a lot and as always i wish you the very best day and i i all hope yeah, I will see you in my next video. Why am I why am I bubbling so much in here? Jesus. <laughs> I hope I see you in my next video and I wish you the very best day, whatever it is for you. And please, please take care of yourselves. And I'm wishing you the best. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye everyone!